Ishra, let's bring you in on this because it's not just Labor who faced these sort of allegations. You've had to deal with the fallout from the Jamie Briggs sexual harassment affair. Shouldn't we start to expect better conduct towards women from our politicians? Well, David, there was a big contrast between the handling of the Jamie Briggs business and the, and the handling of the Jamie Clements affair. The Jamie Clements affair seemed to drag on for many months. Uh, Labor didn't seem to know how to respond to it. Uh, and, it's, of course, it's different. There's no claims of sexual harassment in the Jamie Briggs matter, but the Jamie Briggs matter was dealt with uh, quickly. Uh, the I think there was, a, there was an accusation of something that happened internationally, so there is an accusation of something that has occurred. Well, in the Jamie Clements affair, there was uh, uh, matters to do with AVOs being talked about being taken against Jamie Clements. That's a long way from the Jamie Briggs matter. But in the Jamie Briggs matter, which was seen to be uh, inappropriate, the government acted immediately. It took the correct action, particularly to show that we will, are totally intolerant of anything that puts women uh, in a lesser position than men. Whereas the National, the Labor Party in uh, New South Wales managed to allow this to drag out for some time. And I think that that was un unfortunate. Uh, and in fact, Jamie Clements only two days ago, as you said, was defiantly refusing to go. Uh, and Labor uh, have yet again been seen to be dragging the chain on uh, standing up for women in the workplace.